Hello YouTube, this is Uncle Bug Eye with another tutorial. Um, I've had several requests asking how someone would be able to pull a mesh, an object mesh, from in-game and then put it into milk shape for the whole purpose of being able to model your sims um, around it for a pose box or an animation. So. The steps are pretty simple. You'll need SimPE and you'll need Milkshape. Um, I will have one disclaimer. Uh, I have not been doing this for very long, less than a week. And so um, I cannot guarantee that your results will necessarily be exactly the same as mine or that if you try this process out on every object, the end results are going to be the same. Unfortunately, uh, because The Sims 2 is obviously a much older program, we're coming out with The Sims 4 now, um, there's not the same uh, support team, there's not like as many people actively involved for me to ask questions about this, so I'm just kind of experimenting. But from what I understand, in order to get an object mesh into Simpy, um, into Milkshape, excuse me, what you're ne going to need to do is go into SimPE. Uh, you're going to go to Object Workshop. That would be up here. Click Start if you want to find the mesh for an object that is in the game. If you want to find the mesh for an object that is uh, custom content, like from Mod The Sims, The Sims Resource, whatever, you would click Open. This will open up Windows Explorer and you'll just simply find your file, right, and it'll load it. Most likely it's in your Downloads folder for The Sims. But we're just going to do a an in-game object. So click Start. It will take it a little while to load. Nothing unusual. Okay, so now the Object Workshop is loaded, what we're going to be looking for is um, an object to import into Milkshape. So uh, the first thing you might think of is a chair, right? Okay, that's all well and good, but a chair only has one mesh. Nothing wrong with that. It makes it extremely simple, but I'm going to use the piano because it has two meshes, and this will just show you how to um, do that. So a piano would be under Hobbies, Creative, and there's the piano. Then you're going to click Next. You're going to clone this. Make sure your bottom two options are not checked. Just leave it as it is. Click Start. It'll clone your object. And eventually get this box that pops up, right? Um, don't change anything. This is like you just leave it the way it is. Click OK. Um, okay. It's going to make two files. Uh, well, you're actually going to have three files floating around. So what I would do, is, if I were you, is I would click New Folder, uh, name this one, I don't know, Piano Object. That works. So mine is Piano Object. Um, you're going to name your file name Piano and you're going to make sure it saves it inside of this new folder you just made. Click Save, and it should save one dbpf file in that folder. Um, you can go back and check, but I know that's what it did. What you're looking for now is your geometric data container, the GMDC, right here. Um, if you see, there are two uh, meshes, is what we're looking at, um, and if you look at what they're named. The first one is called TS Locator GMDC and the second one is called Piano Lid Rotate GMDC or I assume rot means rotate. Uh, the bottom mesh is solely the piano lid. It's just the piano lid. It's actually the very top of the piano and so that's not going to help you much when you're trying to model your sim off of it. The top one, the TS Locator GMDC, that happens to be pretty much the entire piano minus the lid. So what you're going to want to do is, once you've figured out which mesh is which, and you know which one you want, um, the way you're going to do that is you're, oh, also there's a warning. You may or may not get this, just ignore it. You're going to extract, find the same folder that you just made, your new folder, save it in there, 
don't bother renaming it. It'll be this long, weird code. Totally fine. And you're done in SimPE for now. If you have multiple meshes and it doesn't have a handy name to tell you what it is, I suggest that you extract all of them and then open them all up individually in milk shape so that you know what you have. So I'm just going to minimize SimPE. You could exit because you don't really need it anymore, but whatever. This is milk shape. What we're going to do is we're going to go File Import. What we're looking for is our Sims 2 Unimesh Import plugin, version 4.09. We're going to click on that, look for documents, find the folder you just made in. There it is. It's that really long, weird code. So you're going to click open. I don't know what that means, just click OK. And there's your piano. You can see there's a couple of blank planes that you wouldn't see in game, primarily, you know, up on the top, the sides on the bottom. I don't understand what that is, but it's fine. I've already experimented on this. So, also you can see there's no piano lid. Okay, so right now it's in milk shape and our primary purpose is to now export it as a wavefront object, which is pretty simple. You just go to File, Export, Wavefront OBJ. I'm going to name this Piano 2. That works. Um put it in here, that folder we made earlier, click save, oh cool. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click on new. You don't want to click save, there's no reason to. Okay, now that we have a blank milk shape, this is exactly the same as making a couples animation or pose box, because what you're going to do is you're first going to open up your normal anim base, I'm going to choose female, there she is. Uh, okay, so I would go ahead and make sure all of your settings are the way they need to be. That looks cool. Um, and now you're going to do import wavefront object. Again, this is exactly like a couple's pose. Um, go to that folder you just made, and there it is, and boom, it's in milk shape. Everything looks cool. Okay, and so you see that she's inside of it basically the way you do that is if you understand how to make pose boxes you should already know that we go to root trans it'll highlight the model use the move button and you can move her out and from there you can pose her however you want on the piano playing the keyboard whatever so and once you're done you save this pose exactly like any other pose totally disregard the fact that there's a piano in there it's not like, you know, you click on the post box and, oh my gosh, it just, you know, generates a piano or something. It's not going to do that. It's only going to register her. Because if you notice, the only thing highlighted, the only thing that it's actually um, working with is her green skeletal frame. You see, there's nothing highlighted in the piano, so it's ignoring it. It's just a visual aid for you. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and make a pose and everything, and then we're going to see it in game. So as you can see, this is my um, pose box that I've made using the uh, pose with the piano and everything from Milkshape earlier. Um, so I'm going to have my actress, my sim, perform that pose. There she is. Looks pretty cool. Now what you're going to notice is because she wants to be on an object, you want her to be on top of an object, she's going to like try to snap in place, right? Um, you don't want that. You want her to be over to the side or something. So what you're going to place her on top of is what's called the Magisplay Tray or something. I don't know how you pronounce it. Anyway, it comes with Open for Business, which you most likely have. Um, if you don't have this, uh, go out and buy it, because uh, otherwise this isn't going to work. Um, so I set her on top of this for the main reason that... When you want to pose her on top of the piano, look, now she's stuck in place on top of the tray, and she's not going to try and snap into the middle of the piano. I'm going to put her there. Of course, you're going to have to look at it from all angles to make sure you're exactly where you want it. This can usually be a little tricky, but, you know, there you go. She's sitting on top. Everything's cool. On top of that, there is... A recolor for the Magisplay tray on Mod The Sims, I believe, and if you will download this, you can make it invisible. 
notice how her pose has her sitting on top of the piano. So when she first performs the pose, um, she's floating in midair, which is good because she's exactly where we want her to be. On the other hand, there are these things that we call OMSPs. may or may not be familiar with them, but I got all of mine off of Mod The Sims. Notice I say that name a lot because they are pretty handy. Um, Mod The Sims. So these are OMSPs, and the blue one works for Sims, or objects, I believe. And the green one, or all others, usually just work for only objects. So I'm going to demonstrate this here. See how she's on top of that? Yeah. So it works for Sims, the blue one does. The green one, no, it doesn't. But you can make the green one work for Sims if you use the display thing. So pull that up again, put her on top. Because the display is an object, you can put it on top of your OMSP that's only supposed to work for objects. So you just kind of tricked the OMSP, essentially. And the reason that um, I wanted to talk about these is because, for instance, let's say you make, or even, see the pose she's in right now? She could very well do that exact same pose on a countertop, or a bed, or a chair. But the way she is now, there's no way for that to look realistic. She'll always, always be floating over it. So what I want to discuss is right before you save your pose in milk shape, let's say that you anticipate for your movie or photo project or whatever that this same pose is going to be used again but on top of a different object um, at a different height or something. What I would do is I would actually sink your anim base into the ground. Model it off the mesh so that it is perfect, right? But then sink your sim into the ground like this. This is a pose that I knew I was probably going to use uh, at some point on something other than a chair. Probably a bed or something. It's a sitting pose. So there you can see she sunk into the ground. This is what I'm talking about. Um, and of course you're thinking, oh well that looks dumb. You can't use that. That's where we use a little bit of creativity because we have all of our OMSPs. So now she can essentially sit on anything. See how she can sit on a counter. You can sit her on top of a bed or you could put her on a chair, which is I think what I ended up using this pose for. But you get the idea. Um, you can see here... Uh, how OMSPs are used for, for more than just poses. Of course, they make your sets look highly realistic. Okay, highly is like a stretch, but you get the idea. You can put things in places where the game normally wouldn't let you on top of surfaces. Um, the difference between this pose that is sunk in the ground and the one that is modeled exactly off of the piano is that you can't use the OMSPs the same way. You can't. See? Now she's even higher. It's not like it brings her down. It just pushes her up so far, right? So now she's always, like, you're never going to be able to bring her down lower to the ground. To sit on the counter, she's always going to be stuck on top of the piano. So, um, that's one thing to think about right before you decide to export your pose, you know. So, all in all, that wraps up the tutorial. Hopefully you understand this. If you have any questions, please ask. Good luck, and that's it.